Hi, my name is Ken Colby. I'm the author of Green Screen Wizard. Today we're going to discuss our mobile application. Now in all green screen programs, you have to take a picture of someone on a green screen. And what the program does is it goes through that picture and looks for all the places where there's the green that matches the green background and replaces that with the background image. So the effect is that the person is now standing in some new place. And to show you that that's true, we can show that if we scale it, we can move our image around the background. So again, it's going through there, removing all the green from the green screen, and then placing the, uh, fusing the two images together. So it sounds pretty simple, but actually this algorithm has been in development for over 10 years and it's considered one of the best in the, in the industry. The, uh, for example, if, if you've ever seen a blonde standing in the um, sun, you'll notice that her hair lets some of the light through. Well, blondes let some green light through too. So if we chop out that green light, we'll chop out her hair. If we leave it in, the, the hair will have a green tint to it. So the algorithm's got to do a lot of work to try to make it look natural. And we think we do a pretty good job. So as always, you have a foreground and a background. It's pretty simple. You just load a foreground. You can go to your camera roll. And in this case, we'll pick our bride. And then you can change the background if you want. Although well, that background was OK. And let's just try our sunset. OK, so you can see the sunset's OK, but it's a little off to the side. So that's where the scaling comes in. We can scale a foreground or a background. And we're going to move that sun over just a little bit. And now we're going to click on foreground. We can move our bride over a little bit. And that's pretty nice. So that's basically how you scale the image. And it's important because often uh, the foreground picture and the background picture need to uh, be realigned. Now we also have some removal settings, which for the most part you can probably take the defaults, but I'll explain what they do. The black restore, um, sometimes you'll have uh, black or uh, folds or darknesses from shadows, and Green Screen Wizard will remove those shadows. But unfortunately it will also remove green, uh, black people that have black hair. So you can restore the black hair, or if you have too many shadows, you can get rid of the shadows. In this case, you can see it's pretty good. We didn't really need to change that. On the green screen, on the green removal side, remember I talked about that green, which is kind of in uh, the zone between being a, an exact match and not so close. This tells you how much tolerance there is for that. So if we go this way, we include a lot of green that we shouldn't have included. You can see all the edge around her dress and her hat. If we go too far the other way, we can start turning the dress pink. So this is probably a good spot right here. Now notice it recalculates the image each time. And that's because it's going to create a whole new image. Now sometimes the images aren't ex exposed properly or aren't the proper color, so we have some settings for that. You can change the brightness of the image and the contrast. And you could also do the same for the background. Same with color. Need more green, less green. Fortunately, these are all pretty well exposed photos. But if you're taking your iPhone photo and the, and the image wasn't quite the right color, this will this will help. Uh, you can rotate an image again if it was tilted the wrong way, or or you want the background rotated. Uh, you can do that. Now clipping. One of the problems is often the green screen. Uh, you might have something in the green screen area that you don't want. For example, the green screen wasn't quite tall enough, so you get get the model and then you get some ceiling or something. So what you can do is you can actually clip from the top or the bottom or the left or the right. Okay, and that clips out all those those uh, items that you don't want. Mm -hmm. We have two special effects that you can use with the wizard. Um, you can make a silhouette. <laughs> there we go. Um, silhouette of the image, which can be very powerful. Now this wasn't set up to be a silhouette image, but 
If the person was facing sideways holding a surfboard, this would be a really cool photo. Okay, And you can blur the background. A softened background will um, often make the person appear, to, uh, they call it pop, or it just really looks like they're on top of the background. Now new with version 2 is this, uh, we have a built-in, I call it an erase restore because it's not a full editor, you can't, you know, like paint or do all those things, but um, erase and restore is kind of important because, again, sometimes there'll be parts of the screen that you don't want or part of the image that you really don't want uh, in there. So, for example, a, a big shadow on the screen or a crease can put a big black line down here. So normally you're almost always erasing. And we have two styles of erasing. One, uh, well, let's talk about the brush in general. First of all, the brush has a radius. How big is it? It has a hardness. How hard is the edge? Uh, hard edges look funny, so we generally use a somewhat soft edge brush. And then how transparent is it? So let's, let's go with kind of a low transparency. And so we do an erase. And you can see, you can still see the girl. So if I wanted to erase all of her, I, I could make it look like a, a ghost figure. Now you can change those settings by clicking on this. You might have to move it a little bit. Um, let's go all the way up, full transparency. Again, we'll hit Erase, and now you can see it just does away with it. And again, we can restore things. Now the restore is a little trickier. There we go. We have to be careful to restore only things that need restoring, because, for example, we might restore some of the green screen, and we don't really want that. If you make a mistake, again, you can always go back to Edit and Erase it. So that's the new editor, and we think that's a really nice improvement. The other things are there's an About box that just tells you how to contact Green Screen Wizard and a website you can visit. There's some help files that um, can go into Green Screen Concepts and how it works. Okay. And this is important. We have downloads, and I don't know why, but a lot of people don't take advantage of the free demo downloads. Um, but you can also buy... Uh, sunsets, forests, oceans and gardens, and portrait backgrounds. And of course you can share this with your friends and we hope you will. So that concludes my talk. We uh, hope you enjoy the Green Screen Wizard Mobile and if you do purchase it we please uh, would be very thankful if you'd place a review on the review and if you have a problem with the program to contact us and we'll try to fix it. You have a great day. Thanks a lot.